This is grasshopper pose. Next, how to do grasshopper pose. In this tutorial, learn modifications, tips, and drills so you can do this pose. Begin by making a figure four with your right leg like this. Sit low with your right toes flexed back at your right knee. Reach your right arm outside of your right foot so it crosses your body. Your shoulders should stack over your palms. Bend your elbows and lean forward with your chest past your wrists. Lift and extend your left leg. Let's look at this a different way. Set up your figure four. Sit low with your toes flexed back at your knee. Compress your foot and arm together. So reach across your body. Your shoulders should stack over your palms like you're in a plank pose. Bend your elbows and lean forward. Lift into grasshopper pose. Next is strengthen your figure four. In order to do grasshopper pose, you need to have a strong figure four. Placing your foot this high takes work, so practice figure four on your back. Pull your hip back five to 10 times. Now compress your leg and chest together. You can also do this seated. Pull your figure four back and to the floor. Try to lift your opposite hip up as you pull. It helps to keep your elbows bent like this. Repeat this five to 10 times. This helps get your foot higher up your arm. Make sure to practice this on both sides. Soon you'll be able to fly into grasshopper pose just like this. Next, we'll do hip flexibility sequence one. Get low in a wide-legged squat. Pulse your hips up and down five to 10 times like this. Now rock side to side with lifted hips. Bring your palms to the mat while pulsing. Try to lift five to 10 more times. Now reach one hand behind you. Keep pulsing. If you can, bring your front elbow to the mat. This deepens the hip opener. Continue to pulse up and down with your hips. Now take your other arm behind you and pulse. Bring your front elbow to the mat. Unwind and take both elbows to the mat. Keep pulsing your hips. Practice this for quick hip flexibility. Next, we'll do advanced hip opening. Lift your right hip up and pull it back five to 10 times. It helps to cradle your leg and your arms like this. Pull back as you exhale. Now see if you can lift your leg a little higher. Use your breath to pull back instead of forcing it. This lifts your leg higher up your arm. Exhale and pull back. Lift your leg over your shoulder and try to straighten it. Look past your left shoulder. In time, your leg will straighten, so don't force it. Add three to five over the shoulder pullbacks. It helps to hold your foot with both hands. An option here is to try to take your leg behind your head. It helps to hold your foot for support, but this should never be forced. A more detailed explanation will be on the left side. After five breaths, slowly release your leg. Now we'll try it on the left side. Lift your left hip up and pull it back five to 10 times. Exhale to pull back. See if you can lift your leg a little higher. Try to push back a little more each exhale. 
Lift your leg over your shoulder and work to straighten it. Look past your right shoulder. Keep lifting your chest each inhale. Add three to five over the shoulder pullbacks to eventually get your leg behind your head. Push your thigh out, then back as opposed to just back. This will open up your hip farther. Your right hand should support your left foot. Keep your chest lifted upwards the whole time. Do this after the hip opening sequence. Your hip flexibility will quickly increase. Just remember to never force these moves, only do what you can. Next, we'll do the seated grasshopper entry. Here's how to do grasshopper seated. Pull your right hip back three to five times, like the advanced hip opening sequence. Exhale to pull back. Raise your right arm up and behind you. Reach your right arm outside of your right foot, so cross it over your body. Then bring your palms underneath your shoulders. Lift your hips and bring your hands to a high plank. Bend your elbows and lean forward. Lift and extend your left leg. Stay here for five breaths. Slowly relax and repeat this on your left side. Pull your left hip back three to five times. Try to pull back more each exhale. See if you can lift your leg a little bit higher. Raise your left arm up and behind you. Cross it over your body and place your left arm outside of your left foot. Bring your hands to a high plank so your palms stack under your shoulders. Lean forward and lift your right leg. Stay here for five breaths. Next, we'll do grasshopper practice video. Make a figure four with your right leg. Sit low with your toes flexed. Reach your right arm outside of your right foot. Your shoulders should stack over your palms, just like a high plank. Bend your elbows and lean forward. Lift and extend your left leg. Stay here for five breaths. Keep your belly tight and hips lifted. Slowly relax your left leg. Shake out your legs before moving on. When you're ready, come back up to standing. Now we'll do the same on the left side. Make a figure four with your left leg. Sit low with your toes flexed. Cross your left arm over your body and compress your left foot and arm together. Stack your shoulders over your palms so that you're in a high plank. Lean forward so your chest passes your wrist. Slowly lift into grasshopper pose. Stay here for five breaths. With each inhale, try to lift your hips. This helps keep you lifted. Slowly release and shake it out.